fuel scarcity, a scenario that sometimes rears its ugly head in Nigeria. And this young man, beneficiaries of this problem, smile to the bank anytime this situation pops up. The center of their trade is fuel placed in bottles but mostly jerry can. One young artist who is fascinated with this imagery is Povidon Mathias. He captured it in this exhibition tagged Black Market at the Osh Gallery, Lagos. So I created an effect in the sense um, of the whole scarcity, the whole idea of Q. And then I, I looked for an iconic image and that's the downfall buses. So I used the jerry can simplicity to just illustrate how terrible this whole queue is. So the downfall are all queued up going and you know how unorderly the downfall people are. As in, but they're all queued up going, ranging all the way to the drawings. The jerry can is his primary tool and it's no surprise considering what he intends to achieve. The process was intended to create faces, a reaction out of my people, especially Nigerians that are going through this hardship of scarcity. So the process was creating a mask-like type of face of them and then adding pressure onto these forms. So I used a burning process to deform and distort them. So if you look closely at the works, you're going to notice the process going through, how distorted the faces are. It's the feeling that we get in this hardship, in this scarcity. So this, that's the idea of this 16 faces, of, of distorted faces. That's the concept of the work. And that's just like a metaphor for the subject of scarcity, which has been you know, seen from a very psychological angle, the need for man to always hoard, even in the, in the midst of plenty. So it's, it's um, a natural human vice. You know, it's inherent in everybody to always think about themselves first. But on a larger scale, the negatives are more than the positives. But the artist has tried to um, leave it open to the viewers and the audience to like, experience the space and make their own deductions. He uses this thought-provoking subject to drive his message home as he strategically creates a scenario where the viewer is subconsciously drawn into an organized disharmony of props, drawings, lighting, and text, engaging with his rebuilding of the black market. Based on the subject matter, I made an experiment of taking handkerchiefs and soaking it in petrol and bleeding it over and over again over a canvas so it twirled together. And um, this particular experiment worked because um, I've always been fascinated, always looking at the aspect of how black marketers use um, handkerchiefs and other processes to create effects on the jerry cans that we use or run to go and buy petrol from. So this time around, this bleeding, I, I, converted, I converged it from pouring um, petrol and, on with, and soaked the handkerchief and as it's bleeding through across the canvas, as it's flowing across the canvas, it's creating its own patterns. So right now what you see is an assimilation of the experiment. This is on. This I used acrylic to create it on canvas because I didn't want to create the effect, I didn't want the effects of petrol all over the gallery space as well. So this three processes worked for me in the sense that the bleeding process created different kinds of effects that really splurges the whole idea of black markets and stuff. The work creates a link between the domino effect of the unavailability of petrol and other salient realities that upset the everyday life of a Nigerian. My influences basically are from the Dada period, Marcel Duchamp, and um, Banksy is a contemporary artist in the UK right now. I was influenced by the Dada movement because um, 
during the First World War, or right after, they discovered that all functions and disciplines of our society were not working. So they broke free from the concept and the body of your traditional arts and found, used found objects to express themselves. So I'm using found objects to express the discomfort, the feeling that I get based on scarcity. So these found objects, I used cherry can as my major canvas to explain and illustrate this because every one of us in Nigeria, whether you are rich, whether you are poor, whether you are in, uh, mid in the middle class, wherever you are, in whatever discipline you find yourself, we all have jerry cans in our homes. This theme caught the eye of the African Artists Foundation. That's why he was picked to be a part of the Maker New Contemporaries, a platform created for young artists to showcase their portfolios to the world. The Osh Gallery, which opened its doors to host this lot, is also eager to see this young hand grow. On face value, it just looks really like almost weird. But when you, you know, probably read the brochure or get an explanation, it all you know, comes alive. And it's a lot of experimentation. There's a deluge between um, the, the concept and the materiality, and they both almost, you know, have this conference where they, they blend. It's, for me, that's, that, that does it for me, where his, his materiality and his conceptualization are working hand in hand. Um, an example is these jerry cans that try to represent people in society who are downtrodden, who've been you know, really beaten, smitten by you know, hardship, and he's had to burn them to achieve that feel. And um, that is, to me, is really impressive work. It's been it's been a while, you know, working with the artist, going over the literature, you know, trying to you know, trying to well, I say pick his brain because an artist's mind is like a well and most of the time they don't even know what's in there. I can see a combination of uniqueness, creativity and um, beauty in debt. So there's actually beauty in things that we don't see as important, you know, bringing jerry cans and bringing art, bringing beauty out of it and is amazing. It reminds me of sculptures, but these are sculptures made of jerry cans. You know, just looking at the jerry can from the view at which it displayed them, they look they look like human faces. You know, you have the eyes, the nose, and the mouth, and they really look like uh, faces. So it reminds me of sculptures being molded with uh, brass, but this one is actually jerry cans. Povidon Mathias is a final year student of fine art at the Nelson Mandela University, Port Elizabeth, South Africa, where he has spent the past four years honing his skills on scratch paper etchings.